In the past, alumnus of Pine Forge and students of Pine Forge have blessed the world through skits and through song, like my younger sister Tan. Sunday, March 22nd at 11 a.m. at Pine Forge Academy, we start a new legacy of outreach, telling the young people that God is able to help you achieve your goals over your obstacles, and He cannot fail. Other news, a Modesto teen is shot to death and a toddler is critically hurt. Police say they are victims of gang violence in two separate shootings this weekend. A younger Lorenzo Perti, multiply shot, gunned down. An 18-year-old Brockton teen was shot multiple times and a 7-year-old boy wounded near the Edgar Playground. Every year, not on the school campus itself, but in the neighborhood, we always have two to three kids getting killed. They shot him in the head. Somebody done killed somebody on my street. He got shot in his, in his stomach. Yeah. He was just at the wrong place the wrong time. He got shot in his head. She came to school. She had a king in her hand. Don't you walk around the king? Well, I got shot. The guys, I was uh, serving them food, and they shot me in the back. Bullet went right through my stomach, and I, you know, I'm walking around with a king. The streets can no longer have our children. We are taking our children back. We are starting a brand new era of outreach with the PFA Growing Seeds Consortium, partnering with It's From The Soul, Andre McDonald, and my main man, Ryan, from Goals Over Obstacles in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Come out to this life-changing first annual event. My name is Damon Leggett, and I am the program director for the Survivors Mentoring Program, which is a mentoring program in the Break the Cycle organization. Abs uh, great question. Um, there was no program, but my father was a pastor, and so um, my father was a pastor, but he wasn't a full-time pastor. Um, he's a seven-day Adventist pastor, and so when you're a part-time pastor, sometimes you have to go out and get a second job just to pay the bills so he had to do that and the job that he went out and got was a maintenance man in the Trenton Housing Authority so he was a maintenance man in the projects in Trenton New Jersey so um, when I would get out of my Christian school I would have to walk walk across the neighborhood to the projects and play until my pops got off of work at five or six o'clock so this dual lifestyle um, 
gave me the ability to be able to relate to um, the individuals in church school, but also be able to relate to my my city inner city family who um, I played with every day on, on the project basketball court. And so it has just come out of me into this program. I always find myself reaching into both of these parallel lives. I, I find myself always finding a way to minister, but always finding a way to reach back to my people in the inner city. And that's what my passion is. And I believe that was the reason for why I am who I am today. CC, if you're ready to rock the house, I mean, you make some noise. Hey, come on, tell the person that God, God is up to something. Come on, tell him. Hey, God, 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 But we got the permit for Philadelphia, so we're here. We have hats, sweaters, jeans, sneakers, and we're gonna give this away to the less fortunate in Philadelphia. Uh, About how many uh, shoes you got? Uh, way more than way more than five thousand pairs of shoes are, are here. Five thousand pairs of shoes. Round member of the class of '69. The student body of Pine Forge Academy has decided to share the resource of It's for the Soul and the inspiring message of E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher with our other young people in the community right next to us in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. The young people of Goals Over Obstacles are welcome to come and join with us in a day of inspiration and encouragement and empowerment at Forge Academy. Hey, what's up? It's your girl Vivica Fox, Break the Cycle. I dare you. Yo, what's up? This is Brian McKnight, supporting Break the Cycle. Break the Cycle, baby. Break the Cycle. Thanks, Dave. sick and tired of hearing people, you know, talking about the problem. You know, on the news, you know, everybody's throwing out these statistics. There's more black men in jail than in college. You know, I'm tired of hearing the numbers. You know, everybody's doing research on the problem, but you have very few people who are actually creating solutions for the problem. You know, and that's why we do the conference. These kids don't need to be talked about on TV. They don't need somebody talking to them like they're crazy. They need somebody who understands what they've been through, who's been there, who's done that, and can say, I understand what you're going through, and I'm going to help you. I'm going to take your hand and help you to get from point A to point B. So that's what the conference is about. The conference is about giving them solutions to their problems, real solutions. The first thing you surround yourself with the right people. Right? Let's assume you surround yourself with the right people. People who are going to help you and who are not going to hurt you. If somebody say I'm your boy, I'm your girl, and they tell me to do things that's negative, that is free. The, the Goals Over Obstacles Sports Camps, I think, is amazing. I've been to it a few times, and I try to make it as much as possible. And the 
few experiences I've had from it has it, been good. Goals over obstacles is a great thing for the kids in this community. Whenever you're able to do some things for kids, um, you know, kids that are fortunate and the kids that are not fortunate, it's always a positive thing. You know, everybody has an opportunity to give back at some point in their lives, no matter how much money you make or who you are. If you're able to be a positive role model, a positive influence on a young man's life, a young kid's life, then it's something that you should want to do, something that you should always strive to do to make your community a better place. show the community where you come from that you, you care about it. I always I always feel like um, that's a good look. Um, it's a good kid, good opportunity, good for the kids. Man, I appreciate that. Thanks for having us. Overall, I think this was a good um, camp. I think I call you um, I'm Ryan Wallace is doing a good job for the kids in the community. Thank y'all for coming out this far for the football camp for the first annual 707. Congratulations y'all for winning the yeah. Outbound Charter. Here you go, yeah. Coach. do something other than stay in the house playing video games and get out there and, and, and have goals and you know there's going to be obstacles that you face and you have to overcome them.